What's up, everybody? My name is Laihua, and welcome to the Super Fina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Laihua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to Hikahiro, and if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you would like to support the channel, we got channel membership and Patreon link to those are below. We are reacting to Hikahiro episode 11. In the last episode, uh, our main characters, they are talking about how they're going to go to Zayu's hometown. She's going to confront her mom because her brother went to look for her. And then she needs to talk to her mom. And our main character guy, he's going to go with her. So it's like, oh, dang. We're going to get more of the story. I just want to know how she's going to I want to know how she's going to interact with people in her hometown because there were rumors, people talking, gossiping. There's a scandal going on with her friend dying and such. So I'm wondering if her time running away, spending time, you know, living off of people, you know, I'm saying that nicely. Has this changed the way she views life? the world and how to interact with people especially with her mom like how is she going to interact with her mom her mom seemed like she was like a hard ass So she's like, are you really coming with me? I'm like, of course, girl. He ain't putting that much money out to not go with you. He's like, yeah, I just flew here just to say bye. Yeah, it's like, what the heck, man? What kind of question is that? I know you're trying to reaffirm, confirm that, you know, he's there for you, there to support you and such, but that is a silly question. Maybe you don't really understand it because you don't really spend money. But I'm just saying! It's not cheap to fly in a plane. It's not cheap to ride a bullet train. It's just not cheap to travel. Okay, so she really seems like her age right now. How she's like curious, how she's having fun, traveling, like she's experiencing that family experience. In this scene over here, it really doesn't seem like they're going to get together. Like, I can't see it. He just seems too much like a father figure to her in this. He just seems so innocent right now. And it looks like he's having resolve to protect that innocence. Resolve that he's not going to let her mom tear it down. Make her revert to how she used to be when he first met her. That photo. Eh? I don't know, it just seems like something shady is happening. Bro, bro, seems like you got some scheming plans. Ah, uh, maybe the siblings plan something. Maybe he's trying to coordinate with Sayu. Oh, what a quaint looking place! You know, we, we don't have many places that are made out of brick walls. Bricks. Brick walls. Brick place. 
We don't have many places that have brick walls or places that are made out of bricks anymore. Very quaint. I guess this place is fancy. The fancy is rustic. Yeah, do you go to cafes a lot? She's like, I thought everybody goes to cafes. She's never been to one. I guess it's because normally when you go to cafes, you go with family, friends, on a date. And she is the more spent time on her own. Like that person who uh, committed suicide. That was like her first friend, right? If her friend was still alive, I'm pretty sure she would have been... She would have gone to a cafe. Oh, look at that. There's someone in the background at like a bus stop, whatever. Oh, yep. See, see, they zoomed in on it. See, see. Ah, see. Someone who is wearing glasses like her friend did. Look at that. She's probably thinking, ah, that could have been me and my friend if she was still alive. Oh, that's another reason why she didn't go to cafes. Her mom would have been mad. Her mom wouldn't let her. I guess she feels kind of out of place with other teenagers since she wasn't allowed to live a teenager life. I guess that's why she seems so out of place whenever she interacts with adults because she didn't view herself as a teenager because she didn't do teenage or adolescence adolescent activities i guess that's a that's like the double-edged sword of a sheltered person is like yeah they're safe but they're not aware of what's normal i guess If you know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments. <laughs> I hope it's sweet. I wonder if she has to add sugar. Normally, they're not sweet. Oh, it is sweet. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. I remember when I first had my first latte, it was not sweet. I was so disappointed. I was like, what? And I didn't know they had sugar available for me to put inside the latte. And I just... I just endured the bitterness, the milky burden, bitterness, milky bird, bitter, blah, 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 blah. milky bitterness. I'm over here rambling because I am anticipating the confrontation with her mom. Like, that's what I want to see. I want to see the interaction with the mom. Yes, head straight home. Do it. Let us meet mom. No, she wants to stop someplace. Damn it. Is it the school? It was the school. Oh, dang. Is she going to visit the site where her friend jumped? Which is the rooftop where they used to hang out. Ay, 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 ay. So another resolve. So the title of this episode is Resolve. So we see Nishida have a resolve. Like we saw that face, that <clears throat> look in the airport or in the plane. And I think we're going to see it again in her on the rooftop. 
I think it really shows that she wants to go with Yoshida instead of her brother. And I wonder if her brother feels kind of left out. Does her brother feel like, man, I wish she had faith in me or relied on me. But I can see why she wouldn't since she didn't spend that much time with him. And, you know, he was there the whole time. He was there the whole time and wasn't able to help her, support her. But someone who she barely knew, she just met, has been reliable for her. Someone that she could depend on emotionally. And maybe because she just like Team Sayu. He's like, I'll always be there. I'll always support you. No matter how wrong you are, I will still support you. <laughs> Sometimes in friendships and relationships, you gotta do that. Sometimes you just gotta be that person that's like, hey, knock it off. This is totally trespassing, yo. Totally. What you gonna do? Eh, fire extinguisher. I wonder why they focus on that. Are they gonna cause a fire? Something gonna happen? Ooh, they're gonna climb up the stairs. They're gonna go up the roof. Uh -huh. This is taking quite a while, to be honest. I don't think we're gonna see the mom. I'm having doubts. I think this is a build up just to meet the mom. There's a build up in Tokyo. Now there's, now there's a build up here. Like. Eh. Do you see how slow this part is? They're going up the stairs. They're putting in the point of view of them. Having like this shaky camera. Well, it's not really a camera. But you know what I mean. <laughs> and it's locked. Break the window! Break the glass! Or just slide it open. <sighs> this is the place that changed Sayu's life. Oh, she's shaking. Okay, this is needed. This section, this scene. I'm thinking that this is needed for when she talks to her mom. She needs to have that emotion, those thoughts, fresh and raw for when she talks to her mom. Okay, for a moment I was thinking, oh, well, maybe the friend didn't jump from here because they have, like, a fence. But looking at her flashback, we can see that it was the green rail. So, yeah. Yikes. So, it looks like they took some precautions after that incident. Yikes. This is where it all ended and where it all began. Oh! 
Wait, Cherry, see, 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 see. She did put this fence up after the death of her friend. No, it wasn't your fault. It wasn't. You know why it wasn't her fault? Because she can't really control what the friend was going to do. You know, she was, her friend was being bullied just by association. Her friend was being bullied because her friend was like an easy target. While her, even if she was bullied, she would be like, I don't care, whatever. She wasn't that easy of a target. She wasn't! See, even if she is saying what I'm saying. Hmm. Yeah, it was her decision. No, just because she admired you does not mean you were responsible. Like, I'm being invested in this, and I'm not even part of this. I'm just watching. Oh, what if she told a friend that? What if she told a friend, I want her to live? I want you to live. What if she expressed to her friend how much she wanted her friend to be there? And then her friend would have felt wanted, needed. She would have felt like, oh, I can't end my life here. There's someone who needs me. Maybe if she knew how much Style needed her. She wouldn't have died. Maybe. But sometimes depression, it just gets to people. Like, they think one thing, and then it leads to another, and another, and they get down into a rabbit hole, and they, it's really hard for them to get out of it. Oh, so look at her cry. Oh, that's like a heavy cry. That's like the kind where she's finally letting it all out. It's where, you know how people say they didn't cry when it happened? They couldn't cry? They, they couldn't? And they don't realize that they're holding it in. It's being all bottled up. It looked like in this thing, she finally just released it. Oh, look at that, the hair, the wind blowing with the moon shining. Resolve. Resolve. I wonder how much handkerchiefs are. Oh, another resolve. Another one. First from the rooftop. Now looking at the rooftop. Having a resolve from different angles. She's growing. She's maturing.
<laughs> Bro, he's like, finally. But he's pretty observant. Like, you saw his strange of facial expression? It's like he noticed something inside you and he was like, okay, we're ready. That eyes closed, he's like, hmm, it is time. Ooh. You can tell this house is rich. You can tell this family's got money because they got like the stone steps, the stone walls. That stuff ain't cheap. And that's customized too. You gotta build that. It ain't cheap. Oh, she's gonna get slapped. Oh! Damn! Now, are we gonna... Is the mom gonna hug her? Or is the mom still gonna be mad at her? And that's my reaction to Higehiro episode 11, Resolve. What'd you think about that episode? I told you, I called it. I called it that this was a build-up to meet the mom. We only saw the mom at the end with that slap. Like, ooh, dang. What did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there is a Discord. Discord link is available in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People who watch these videos, if you like to visit the stream, have that one-on-one -on -one real-time conversations. You guys are more than welcome. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We are available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is my reaction to Higahiro episode 11. Hope you guys like this video, and I will see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.